Weka yunga kokombe yenne. Put it, your flower inside it for cubs. This is a very important note. I use the same exact measuring cup for all my ingredients. So for the sugar, I measure the same cup I used for my unga. I have one cup of sugar with four cups of flour. Warm your milk quarter cup 30 seconds in the microwave. Put it just teaspoon of sugar inside. Then put it two packet of that gist. Now I did two packet because my cup is just very mota. This big mug, this one bazooka. I let it sit. The gist gonna activate in 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you putting the lychee powder. Thongonerization of the dry ingredients. Pamoja, kama huna mashini hakuna shida. Sumia tu mkono. Mi haba nafanya manake na yonele kile ki hukchage hakifiki mpaka tini. Tizawa, my yeast has yeastified itself. Put it to your hamira mixture inside it. Mixed, mixed, katika. Mahamri lazima chui. Boti it your coconuts mimi haba naeka. Half a cup. Half a cup. Tu. Na hii ndo na yui penda lakini of course fresh is best. Musifanya ushamba muka tumia ya nazia. Mikebe na. Fresh is best. Always fresh is best. I'm going to microwave about one cup of milk. Again, the same measuring cup. Remember, the same exact one we're using from start to finish. And little by little. I usually always leave a tiny bit at the end. So it's not a full cup, but I can't give you exact measurements. So what I'm going to tell you is that it is almost a full mug. For this quantity, but you have to basically put it in slowly at a time. The consistency that we're looking for will take a little bit of time. So make sure you knead slowly if you're going to be doing this by hand. Or if you're doing it by machine, you put in your liquid a little at a time. This wasn't the real speed. This was a time-lapse video, by the way. I added one tablespoon of um, oil. You could do ghee as well. I didn't have any on hand, actually. And then I continued adding my um, milk until I was satisfied with the texture. Here's another time-lapse video coming up. By the way, my point is that um, the stickier the dough I've noticed, uh, the softer your mahamri. The denser the dough, the tougher the dough, the harder your mahamri turn out to be. So if your dough is still pretty tough, add a little bit of liquid, but you don't want it to be sopping wet. You just want it to be slightly tacky, but still significant this way ungave tuncho kajamani ni tabani wate upumzike kama 20 minutes tv kisha ndo fanye ma donge donge yako itakuwa shisha shikana kidogo but still sticky hapa na maonesha how to making your balls it is very easy you kusanya at the bottom and then you pinch it sasa ukipata practice ndo utajua density na weight Kwenye mkono wako, lakini kama huja pata pretty, hamna neno. Utafanya vote kisha uta, utatukua kidogo, kutoka huku, uta, utafanya one plus one equals two. Sio, simbaya. Usisahau, mi sisi ntumia mikombe ya mifalme. Mikombe mikubwa. Sasa hii natoa madonge tisia. Out of tisia, sita na ya kanga, maitatu na ya freezerization. Na ya kwenye freezer. Freezer. Powder your dough balls with the flour so that you can prevention the sticking. Do cover and put it in your uh, oven. It is not turned on. Two hours later, the balls have doubled in the size. Then you're gonna doing like this way. I'm doing like this way. Okay. You just follow instructions. Watch. Take one of your balls and put them on this wooden surface. You're using a big stick. You're gonna flatten the dough ball. Are, what is the hurry? Huh? Relax. Where you're going? Huh? You're taking your time with the mahamri. This one not roti. This one not chapati. You don't want it too thin. You want it right thickness. Huh? Slow dance with your rolling pin. Huh? Take your time to know your balls. Then you are gonna get it 
like that thickness wet i'm going to zoom you in you're going to see very detail take your motta knife and division up the big circle into four quadrants okay those we shall call quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 you're going to put this on top of your newspaper ha huh. please feel free to use paper towels i was out and so i just used what i had which was these which is what our moms used to use newspapers anyway here i let my dough again rise for the second time this will be about 20 30 minutes mahamri are not for calorie counters i'm so sorry these are supposed to be deep fried and very very hot vegetable or canola oil i've mentioned this before in my other mahamri recipe that this is the one dish i don't allow my kids in the kitchen i will let, let them play and cook with me in everything but mahamri because the hot oil i can't risk it i've burnt myself multiple times and i cannot tell you how many times i've made mahamri i think like over 100 times well maybe a thousand i don't know man but the point is the oil is very hot so be very very careful but at the same time use that hot oil to encourage that bubble we want a bubble to form that is the hamri that is the hole in between that's that pocket that you see kind of forming and at the same time while we're encouraging the bubble to form the hot oil is also browning the bottom of the hamri so once it's your desired brownness then you will flip over so this was my happy medium i felt and so um i flipped it over i love this color uh my kids and my husband actually prefer them darker but i love them like this color oh dongo i feel like mahamri is also about practice and so the more often you make them the more you will sort of understand the texture and what you want and what you need in any in every cooking right wallahi billahi this one mahamri looking like the sexy hoyo it has the stretch marks it is soft inside it but it's wah wah the curves is the right blesses yeah look inside it is also inside and outside the sex you put it inside it, the chai wah look the transformation mashallah tabarakallah